uh, and the, at the Intuit Dome, which is under construction. The Capitol Building. You want all stars? We've got all stars. Growing from LA's fertile grassroots to the halo board high above. Fit for a city of angels, city of champions, city of Inglewood. At the intersection of history and fantasy, just a few blocks down Prairie. Yeah, we've got all stars who couldn't use a couple dozen more. Under our roof, on our stage, we built this for you, the fans. And you, the performers, the showstoppers, the megastars, who are built for it too. Doesn't get better than that. Good morning, everybody. I am Christina Pink with Bally Sports SoCal and NFL on Fox. Thank you so much for joining us. First, before we get started, I want to welcome a few special guests we have in the house. Clippers President of Basketball Operations, Lawrence Frank. And Clippers Advisor, Jerry West. We also have some NBA staff visiting us from New York as well. Again, thank you for being here. And now, to kick things off, uh, it is my pleasure to welcome Clippers President of Business Operations, Gillian Zucker. Thanks. It's great to see you all here. Welcome to Intuit Dome. I hope you'll excuse our mess. We're currently under construction but it won't last much longer. We're set to open the doors of our new home in just seven months. August 2024 is coming soon. When you embark on a project of this magnitude, as we did almost nine years ago, you assemble the best roster of talent you can find. I want to thank our project team, including designer AECOM, the AECOM Hunt Turner Joint Venture, CAA Icon, our representatives on the ground, and more than 50 firms employing thousands of workers who've been integral in the design and construction. Into a Dome is the ultimate manifestation of Steve's vision. Everything a basketball arena, a concert venue, and a community center should be. Bringing it to fruition takes a cast of thousands, many of whom were able to join us here today. Our local government officials from Inglewood and Los Angeles, we thank you for joining us. And Mayor Karen Bass, congratulations on your first year in office. Please help me welcome great partners such as Intuit and a special welcome to Abby Smith and Lionel Mori and our Intuit Dome partners, AT&T, Pechanga, Kia, Ticketmaster, Globant, Dactronics, and Lexus. We also have with us today representatives from the LA Sports and Entertainment Commission, led by the incredible Kathy Schlossman, who continues to attract high profile events to our city. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you for your support. And now we welcome a special guest who we were able to coax into a construction vest today, all for the sake of a very important announcement, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Gillian, and uh, Mayor Butts um, gave me special dispensation. He said, I'm in charge here, and you don't have to wear this helmet for five minutes. So thank you very much. Mayor Bass, I know this is slightly out of your jurisdiction, but he gave you special dispensation as well. So hopefully we'll be okay for the next few minutes. And they're under such a tight schedule here that we said, can you stop the song for eight minutes? And they said, no. It's the only way we're going to be able to open on time. So... I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get right to the point here. So it is my absolute privilege to announce the, the 2026 NBA All-Star Game will be held here in Inglewood at this brand new Intuit Dome. Congratulations, everyone. You know, just a few words about our All-Star festivities. I know Steve has been calling this building basketball heaven. That's what we used to call All-Star, so i got to come up with a new name now. For, so it's Basketball Heaven is coming to Basketball Heaven, I think, so far. But I'll work on that. But people in L.A. are familiar with our All-Star festivities. These games are distributed in more than 200 countries. 
it's not just the All-Star Game itself. There are events throughout the week. I had the opportunity to get the deluxe tour from Gillian and Steve uh, this morning of this building. Not only are there five courts, there's technology that is unmatched in any facility I've ever seen. I think no doubt Steve and Gillian have been meticulous in looking at every single detail. And even beyond that, I think we all agree that once the building opens, there'll be even more things that they realize they can do differently. Um, I can just say that, you know, having been, I think, to pretty much every basketball in the arena in the world, probably, over the course of my many years at the NBA, I eagerly await the first opportunity to see a Clippers game here in this fantastic Intuit Dome. And then, of course, all NBA fans are eager to see an NBA All-Star game here. So thank you to the community. Thank you, Mayor Butts. Thank you, Mayor Bass, for your hospitality. And with that, I, I thought this was the point. Steve Ballmer is about to speak, gentlemen and madams. So the energy level is about to come up another notch. So without further ado, Clippers Chairman Steve Ballmer. I got to ask a question here. Mayor Butts, you're the boss. Can I take mine off too, please? If I can figure it out. Uh, it's always hard. Nah, I get it. It was mostly a big show to say thank you again. I'll keep it on. I won't get in trouble with the safety people that way, too. Uh, thank you very much, Adam. Uh, it is wonderful that you're here, and I'm even happier with the announcement that you made. It is such an honor for us to be able to host an All-Star game. I can't even tell you. I was giddy. Uh, when I heard it was possible and even giddier when uh, the league told us that we'd have the All-Star game here. I'll switch away from heaven of basketball, if you like, and I'll just say we want this to be the penultimate basketball experience on the planet. As good as it gets, the pinnacle, the peak. Now, of course, some year somebody will bypass us, but man, we have put everything into getting ahead of that in this building. This is the primary thing. Yes, we have clubs and lots of bathrooms, 1,500 and something, different facilities, uh, whatever they call them, facilities. You can't call them toilets because they're not all toilets. But anyway, um, this, this is the featured item. This is where we need the intensity. This is where we need the crowd roar, right here in the bowl. And we spent a lot of time thinking through the details of this. How do you get people in and out quickly? Bathrooms and concessions need to be fast. How do you get people to cheer? Well, actually track your decibel level and let you know how loud you've been. You wanna go get some food, walk out, just grab it. You bring your game face, we call it. You can just grab food and beverage, no cash, cashier or anything else. You just walk out with the food that you want, get back to your seat pretty quickly. Uh, so we needed to support this. We wanted it steep, and you can see some of the steepness here, but if you look where you can't see behind me, it's what we call our wall of sound. It's 51 rows, top to bottom. It's steeper than anything you see from this vantage point to try to bring the fans in closer to the game. That'll be what we call a clipper-only zone. Some of you may notice sometimes because of all the transplants here in L.A., we'll see people from other places. But you actually have to register for what we call a Chuck Mark, our ma mascot. Uh, you have to follow us on Instagram. You've got to buy a jersey. You have to be a season ticket holder. Three or four different things you can pick from. But you're not going to sit there if you're not really on our team. And that's the big wall, if you will, that I'm really excited about. Seats. The seats are generous in their leg room and in their width. Uh, we took what we saw in other NBA arenas and we tried to go a step further. Um, so you have the, actually the same depth of step, top to bottom, all the way to the upper bowl. Uh, in the upper bowl, it gives you a little more headroom. In the lower bowl, a little more leg room, but we've been working hard on that. Stay in your seat or get up. You get up, we're going to know that you stood up. If, as long as you, you want us to, you've got to give us the permission. We'll know that you get up. We know that you cheer. We know how loudly you cheer. 
If you're, if you're good on those things, we can give you little discounts around the shop just to, to reinforce that excellent behavior that we, we want and need of our fans to make this thing rocking. I mean, look, our fans have a role to play with our team. This isn't just for the fans to enjoy the experience. If our fans do their job right, it's going to help our team play better. And that's super important to us. So I'm excited uh, about all those things and many more. If you want me to get going for half an hour, which nobody does, I'm well over my time now, uh, but I'm happy to. Uh, key dates. I'm really excited for this year's playoffs. Even though they won't be here, I am excited for this year's playoffs. Um, and I know Clipper Nation will be. Uh, August, we get to move in here uh, and start, up, well, we move in in June. We have our first opportunities for concerts by, by middle of August, but we'll already have had an event with 10,000 or so people to, to test things out and really put it through its paces. Uh, and then of course, there's our grand opening in the 24-25 20, uh, season. We are appreciative. Uh, that the league gave us a year to get our act together so that we can be not just perfect, but perfect when the All-Star game comes here. I mean, just think, if you want to have the pinnacle of basketball, you have to have the very best players in the world playing here. And we're just beyond delighted. When Mayor Butts and I first met in January of 2016, uh, we couldn't have hoped for the All-Star Game this early. Uh, in a way, I'm amazed it took us almost nine years, eight and a half with the mayor to, to get this done. But I'm delighted that we're done and uh, we'll be, be here. So we're all getting ready. We're all getting prepared. Uh, I want to have a special uh, shout out again to the architects uh, at AECOM and the construction guys at uh, AECOM Turner. I get over here at least once a month, maybe more, and the guys, they are just, it, to me, construction is amazing. I look around here and say, how's this gonna be done uh, by the end of June? And they just say to me, we got you, we got you. So thank you all again. Uh, thank, thank you, Mayor Bass, but really thank you, Mayor Bud. This guy's a driving force, and you'll hear that now. Mayor Butts, to the podium. Now, after all that, all I can give you is history. I've been with the city of Inwood since 1972 in the police department. In that time, I got to meet Jerry West, the logo, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, Byron Scott, Steve Ballmer. I was here for Steve Ballmer. But now, after 13 years as mayor, my career is complete because I got to meet Adam Silver, the commission, the commissioner. So Adam Silver, my good friend Steve Ballmer, Mayor Karen Bass of the great city of Los Angeles, and fans of the greatest professional basketball league in the world, welcome to the latest chapter of the Inglewood Los Angeles version of the Hunger Games. LA would be the capital where the citizens were all well fed and Inglewood would be the Panem. This all started in 1968 when Jack Kitcutt carefully selected Inglewood as his choice in which to build the fabulous forum, now the Kia Forum, owned by Steve Ballmer. He loves the game of Monopoly, you guys. In 1999, Los Angeles lured the Lakers and Kings of the National Hockey League back to the city of Los Angeles. Within 11 years, Inglewood would be on the verge of municipal bankruptcy, and I would be fortunate enough to be elected mayor in that year. It's said that revenge is a dish best served cold, and it would take 21 years but in 2020, the NFL Rams would leave the Los Angeles Coliseum for Inglewood and would be joined by another former Los Angeles team, the Chargers. In January 2016, 
Steve, Dennis, and I met at the Ritz-Carlton in Marina del Rey, and eight years after that meeting, the Clippers will play basketball in the City of Champions. And now, the trifecta is complete. In 1983, 41 years ago, while I was a lieutenant in the Inglewood Police Department, Inglewood hosted the All-Star Weekend at the Forum. The 1983 All-Star Weekend and the 84 Olympic Basketball Games and Super Bowl 56 up to now are the biggest events ever held in the City of Champions. This All-Star Weekend will be the greatest event ever held in the greatest arena in the world, the Intuit Dome. <laughs> Together, Mayor Bass, LA and Inglewood will continue to bring international sports entertainment to the County of Los Angeles and to the world for decades to come. Thank you guys very much. And I want to introduce my partner, Karen Bass of the great city of Los Angeles. Thank you. Good afternoon. What an amazing way to start a day. It is very exciting to be here, and it's very exciting to be here with this gentleman, the mayor of Inglewood, Steve Ballmer, Adam Silver. It is a very exciting day because we are thrilled with this announcement that the Clippers in the city of Inglewood have been selected to host the 75th NBA All-Star Game in 2026, where there is a long and storied history of basketball. I want to thank the commissioner, the mayor, the Clippers organization, and I want to recognize and thank our LA Sports and Entertainment Commission for their tireless efforts <laughs> to bring world-class events like this to our global, global city. Today's announcement is exciting for all of us, and I especially want to focus on the mayor here because I call him the transformative mayor. When you talked about the history in Inglewood, what you have done, what he has done in his tenure as mayor, I told him I want to be like him when I grow up. So give him another round of applause. <laughs> the economic advantage that this event will bring, I want to highlight this event brought more than $100 million of economic impact when our region last hosted it six years ago. Looking ahead, NBA All-Star Weekend 2026 is projected to generate more than $350 million in economic and media impact for the greater Los Angeles area. That is amazing. And just think, that's 2026, where there'll also be the World Cup, 2027, the Super Bowl, 2028, the Olympics. Oh my goodness, all of those events can be transformative to our region. And I am just very proud to stand here with my partner and colleague, Mayor Butts. And I know there is so much more to come for our area. So this is amazing. I look forward to being here in June when Mayor Butts will give the state of the city, and then back here in August. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mayor Bass. Now, we do have a few questions for you guys. Um, so I am going to start with the commissioner, Adam. Basketball heaven returns to LA. This is an exciting day. Well, what can fans expect from All-Star 2026? I think you, you heard it from, everybody hear me okay? You, you heard it from both mayors from past experience having uh, the all-star festivities um, both here in Inglewood and in Los Angeles that it becomes the center of the basketball universe. As I said, not only will the games be distributed in over 200 countries, partners of the league, basketball fans from around the world will come here as well. Um, as, as you heard, we estimate the economic impact will be roughly $350 million and that because there's so many activities throughout the weeks and whether they're clinics, concerts, fashion shows, 
um, social justice forums, everything that the League is involved in, we touch on over the course of the time we're here. And, and, and that's why it's so impactful to communities when we bring All-Star. That's amazing. Uh, Steve, the penultimate basketball experience, I think we can all agree, looks amazing already. So what are you most excited about the Clippers and Intuit Dome hosting All-Star 2026? Well, to, to me, I'd say two things. Number one, look, if you want to be penultimate in basketball, the best way is have the best players in the world. Sports is amazing, by the way. You know, I worked in business. There's a lot of competition. But in sports, you actually know who the best person and best people in the world are who do something. I can't even imagine what it's like for somebody to be able to say, yeah, I know I'm in the top 24 at the, this game everywhere in the world. And to have that group here is the ultimate honor, I'd say, for, for what we're trying to accomplish uh, with the with the building. That's incredible. I'm going to turn to Mayor Butts. Inglewood has already been very successful attracting global events to the city of champions. So how would you describe what the return of All-Star means to Inglewood? To put it in perspective, so, you know, we've had a Super Bowl. We've had an NC2A championship bowl game here. We've had WrestleMania. <laughs> Between 2026 and 2028, We'll have the World Olympic Games, Super Bowl 61, and the ultimate basketball competition, the NBA All-Star Game. There is no city in the history of the world that it has had three international events in three consecutive years. That's what it means. We love to see it. Mayor Bass. Los Angeles is quickly becoming the epicenter of sports and entertainment. So what does today's announcement mean for Los Angeles? How about that? <laughs> it's amazing because it's the synergy in the region. You know, it's the economic benefits, obviously, to Inglewood. We're right down the street. We view things as a, as a region, our cities are next door to each other, and so it's the economic engine that is vital and essential for our area. Thank you. Now, we are going to open it up to a few questions. Christine. Oh, we'll start over here with David Pingalore. Steve, what does this mean, Adam Silver there uh, on the stage with you today? Uh, what does it mean to you personally that the NBA says we want you in this amazing arena to host an all-star game? I mean, it means a lot. I mean, start with the fact, I said, who's the best player in the world? I could say, who knows more about basketball in the world than Adam Silver does? And yeah, you have a team. I know, I, I know how CEOs do that, but I, the CEO also gets exposed to more things than anybody else. So this guy knows the game. And between his staff and with Ascent, they said, yeah, we'll take a risk. I think this is probably the first time an All-Star Games been awarded to a building that hasn't opened yet. And you know, it just, it just again, it's an honor for me to have somebody who knows the game, who knows the building, who knows everything as well as Adam, choose us for this, this event. Jim Hill. Yeah, yeah, this is for Steve Wall with Jim Hill Channel 9. Steve, how does it feel knowing that you have helped to make the city of Inglewood the sports capital of the world? I've grown That's a to good qu question. Yeah, and I'm gonna share it with you, Mayor Butts. <laughs> Look. I didn't know much at all about Inglewood when we started this project, I'll be honest. I knew Paul Pierce was from here, because uh, I kind of track that kind of stuff, but I didn't really know much about Inglewood. And, and I do now. I'm not an expert, but I know a little bit. Mayors taught me, other people uh, in the area. We have a big focus on employing people from the local area, not just Inglewood, it includes zip codes in Los Angeles as well. You know, we put effort into that, we get to contribute to the community. Uh, we put together a, a significant uh, benefits package 
investments in affordable housing as well as services to seniors and children and others well guided by Mayor Butts. We have two courts that we can open up to the Inglewood community and host games in our plaza and we have a special fan court if you will but we can cordon it off and let parents bring their kids in on the weekend and host basketball games. So I've grown to know the city a little bit and we are just excited to be able to, if you will, invest back and do what we can do for, for this great city. Something you wanna add, Mayor? Well, I just wanna tell you, you're part of changing the unemployment rate from 17.5% when I took office with the local hire down to less than 5%, okay? You're, you're part of raising the median income of the city of, of Inglewood, and you're part of what has tripled property values in the city of Inglewood. So this has been a mutual, be, mutually beneficial team effort, and we appreciate that in you, and you have given the largest community benefits package of any professional sports team to any city in the history of the world, $100 million. Can I, can I add to that? Because uh, we're talking about Inglewood, but Steve Ballmer's philanthropy outside of Inglewood, in the Los Angeles area, the investment in youth, and especially youth who could wind up in violence or on the wrong track has been phenomenal. And I know one uh, specific example during COVID, when restaurants were facing closure, what he did was provided resources so the restaurants would provide meals free to seniors. It kept the restaurants open, it kept the seniors fed. Do we have time for any more questions? Okay. I think that is it. But before we go, I want to thank all of you for joining us, being here for an exciting day and a historic day. But we also want the photo up. All right, uh, exciting news conference there at uh, the Intuit Dome in Inglewood, still under construction. Uh, Clippers owner Steve Ballmer promising that going to a basketball game there will be the penultimate experience. Yes. Uh, and of course, the big announcement uh, from the commissioner of the NBA, Adam Silver, that the 2026 All-Star Game is coming to the Intuit Dome. Uh, that's very exciting news when you think of the Clippers image in the past. Mm -hmm. This was kind of a, this is a very big deal. As Steve Ballmer said, the fact that the NBA commissioner came to town to and make that big announcement today. And the building hasn't even opened. No, hasn't I mean, opened. That's, that's the beautiful part about this. And three international events here in um, our area in three consecutive years, also a big move. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's amazing how that area has been transformed, of course. They talked a little bit about the, uh, uh, the, the Kia Forum. That, of course, used to be the home of the Lakers and the Kings. They moved downtown to Staples Center, now uh, Crypto.com Arena. Uh, it was kind of a dead area, as, uh, as Inglewood Mayor uh, James Butts uh, said. But Stan Kroenke came in, built SoFi Stadium, the home of the Rams and the Chargers. And the NFL Network has now moved there. The Intuit Dome is opening in August. And it's amazing what it has done for that, uh, that small town adjacent to Los Angeles. Also